It's been two years since a law passed to keep people who have racked up eight or more DWI convictions behind bars for a long time. In tonight's special assignment, News 13's Jose Mitri shows you while dozens of those cases turned up in New Mexico courts, most aren't yet ending in convictions and tougher prison sentences. From Santa Fe Let me see your hand. Hey. to Albuquerque Put your hands behind your back. to Clovis. You're under arrest for uh, driving under the influence of a toxicating beverage or drug. These guys have heard this over and over again, accused of driving drunk after at least seven other DWI convictions. We have a clear problem with drinking and driving in New Mexico. A law representative Sarah Maestas Barnes pushed for two years ago to toughen up prison sentences is targeting people like Steve Martinez, who've kept police busy over the years. Stay there! Get on the ground! Video shows Albuquerque police chasing Martinez after Stop 6 blew out his truck's tires a year and a half ago, all because he didn't stop at a DWI checkpoint, police said. Subject's going to be walking up the on-ramp towards the interstate, not listening to commands. When they stop. caught up to him, eventually... Sir, stop! Police arrested Martinez for aggravated DWI, and in January, <laughs> the DA's office says Martinez became the first person in Bernalillo County to get a 10-year prison sentence for an eighth DWI conviction. The max he would have gotten before the 2016 law change was three years. In those cases, the only place that they really should be is behind bars where they can't hurt anybody. We wanted to see if that's really what's happening. How often is an arrest actually ending in a conviction and a tougher prison sentence? Here's what data from the state's administrative office of the district attorney shows. In nearly two years, DA's offices in New Mexico have seen more than 70 cases of someone accused of getting behind the wheel drunk for an eighth or subsequent DWI. Most are still pending. Of the 30 closed cases, only seven ended in convictions on the tougher charges. The other 23 ended in dismissals and acquittal or lesser DWI charges. That's what happened to Alfonso Ingo. So you only have two things, that's it? Yeah. Say police said they arrested him for his eighth DWI near Santa Teresa last year. I'll be on your back. But months later, he pled guilty to only a third offense DWI and spent less than three months in jail. In Bernalillo County, Santiago Munoz was expected to be the first to face the tougher penalty following his arrest just one month after the new law. PCSO said it was his 10th DWI, but his pending case online now lists it as his fifth. We went to Guinevere Ice. Guinevere Ice on behalf of the state. With the Bernalillo County District Attorney's Office. Blood, shot, water, your eyes. Smell alcohol. To discuss the difference between what police and prosecutors find when building their cases. Generally what it's an issue of is there's older prior DWI convictions and the actual certified paperwork that we need to prove that the defendant is guilty is not around anymore. While prosecutors have to dig up courthouse documents to prove every past conviction, an officer arresting someone relies on numbers in a national crime database. I've seen it listed in the NCIC um, convictions from the 70s. I've never been able to obtain paperwork for a DWI conviction from the 1970s. So cases that start out in court as an eighth DWI based on an officer's arrest report may not actually be the eighth by court standards. It's up to a judge to decide how many prior convictions the prosecution proved at the sentencing stage. In Ronald Gleason's case, though, he didn't leave it all in the hands of a judge and jury. She said he was coming down going 95 100, so. Farmington police stopped him for drunk driving last year. Yeah, I just don't want to sit here and fight with you guys, too. I have a no, bad criminal right. history with all you guys, too. He already had a case pending for his seventh DWI charge, so this marked his eighth. Gleason pled guilty to both instead of taking it to trial. He's now doing the prison time. Three years for a seventh DWI plus 10 years for his eighth. On special assignment, Lizay Mitri, KRQE News 13. In all but one conviction, a judge has given the minimum 10-year sentence. Walter Begay in San Juan County got the max 12 years for his ninth DWI. He's still trying to fight it on appeal.